we honestly don't know the direction and the, the speed at which the degeneration of the brain will occur. So you don't take any day for granted. He's an athlete. That's what keeps him sane. That's what keeps him going. Nothing can break me. There's nothing I can do that's gonna hurt because I, you know, I'm bulletproof. And you got you le learn that bulletproof mentality, you know, in football. This incredible idea that we're all Superman. Adam Lee shredded the Badgers for a school record, 316 yards rushing, propelling Northwestern to a 27 to 20 win. Hits that rock that brain can have an impact on the brain cells functioning. I'm not talking about those big spearing type of hits. Those are, uh, are really important, but I'm not as concerned about those when it comes to CTE as I am all of those little hits. A couple times in front of audiences, like I was working for the WWE, and. And I forgot some guy's name while I was live in front of like, you know, 15,000 people. And I'm just like, whoa. Um, they ultimately let me go because of that. He had an obsession with the washer, taking the hose out and cleaning it, but he'd forget to put the hose back in. He flooded the whole house multiple times. He drove into a parking lot that he knows the wrong way twice in a month and blew out all of our tires. But he started getting aggressive to the point where um, one of our daughters would not leave us alone in the room. Some of his business decisions and money decisions, we literally lost everything. Everything, our home and our, um, all of our savings and our marriage, ev everything. And at that time, we didn't know what was going on yet. We were apart for five years. It takes a while for me to get my thoughts together. Stuff is missing that used to be there. In the back of my mind, I still believe I can do Iron Man's, I, you know, and knowing full well that's probably not gonna happen. I would pay money to do another Iron Man again, because that is, that, that I use it as a metaphor for life. Kim and Alex, who was a little baby at the time, they jumped out at about, you know, from about 200 yards out, and the three of us crossed the finish line. Teaches you know never give up. You can be a hero. You can be a best. You can be a pounding on your chest and uh, listen to that music. <laughs> Mike was suicidal. We remained friends, and. I would continue to, we always did things with our girls, and we'd have holidays and family dinners together, but Mike started hinting, ah, I think I should just move back in. How about if I just move in your house? I'm miserable, I don't like my apartment downtown, I wanna move, and I suspected why. I knew he was starting to have trouble just with daily living things. I didn't realize the extent of it, until I went to his apartment to help him pack up and move. And Mike is a fastidious guy, and this place was a wreck. I started taking care of all that, the, the details in life, so that Mike could concentrate on his job and taking care of himself. It breaks me inside, because that's not daddy. Daddy's used to, to do everything by himself, and now he 
has to rely on us girls and everybody else around us. So he doesn't like to, that. He likes to do by himself. She's never, no, never really lost that spirit. He hasn't really. So I hope he, he never does. Uh, there's really two things that uh, are really important, you know, love and forgiveness. And you wake up in the morning and you don't like what you see in the mirror and you, you, you know, how are you going to love anybody else if you don't love yourself? And uh, and forgiveness, if, if you look in the mirror in the morning and you can't forgive yourself, how can you possibly forgive anybody else? And how those two kind of things I try to, you know, okay, hey, you're not so bad. I like what I see. I'm looking in the mirror right now. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that the dementia doesn't get so bad or he doesn't like start like I guess forgetting the people. I will love him to have my first dance, the father and daughter dance and to give me away. <laughs> and hold his first grandbaby. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm losing my partner slowly, day by day. And he's such a good man. It's so hard. Line, it's, it's going to get worse, probably. So I'm going to do all the things that you can possibly do to, you know, keep it down. And, yeah. and the alternative is, is isn't acceptable. While we can't reverse anything, I hope we can at least just stall it. That's what it's all about right now. Early detection by all kinds of new different types of tests that we're developing. Early treatment with disease-modifying drugs that will slow it down. And so if you detect it early and you slow it down enough, then the person might never have a problem. We're working with Concussion Legacy Foundation, Cure PSP, as many organizations as we can we can support one another until we find answers.